round of applause for contestant number 12, Miss Universe Zimbabwe. That makes Nokutenda our first princess. When the Miss Universe Zimbabwe beauty pageant was announced this year in Zimbabwe, there was a highly anticipated return. One crucial context is that the Miss Universe Zimbabwe competition is making a comeback after a 22-year hiatus. This event's comeback generated significant attention and expectations from the Zimbabwean public. But when the winner of the pageant was announced on September 16, 2023, the organiser and the winner of the event were met with dissatisfied and angry social media responses. <laughs> Why is that? But before we walk across the stage into the madness creating the uprising against this newly elected beauty queen, take a second to like and share this video on your way in. And if you are new to this channel, kindly walk across the subscribe button and add some beauty to the notification bell so you never miss our future posts. Now that we are all here, Let's go. Miss Universe Zimbabwe 2023 to represent us in El Salvador. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise for contestant number 12. So, what do you think about a white woman winning in Africa first? There ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I don't think okay. there's anything wrong with it. I mean, she, she was born in Africa. Exactly, born and raised. So, so yeah, if she's born and raised in Africa, then she's African. Anyway, I mean, that. I, I'm just that's what I'm just thinking. Like, she's African, so I, mean, I don't know why the uprising though. Uprising, yeah, but you have um, you have white people in Zimbabwe, right? Yeah, I mean, black is one percent of the country. Uh, yeah, is white. One percent. One percent. So that, yeah. So that, there is white. There's white. Yeah, there are white people in Zimbabwe. So congratulations, group. Do you feel the um, the fellow contestant? The the happy about it? Like the. Uh, yeah, I was trying to look if they were happy. I know? mean, it shows they're happy, but it's, it's still real. I mean, <laughs> I'll be to be honest, I'll be fixed, my, you might never exactly, know. Exactly, that's what I was going to say. Like, to be honest, though, you can't have them to be 100% happy. Because happy. they all went into the competition on, uh, hoping to be the winner. So yeah, even if you're happy for the other person mm -hmm, winning, you mm -hmm. still consider yourself that, oh, man, I lost. There's that grief of you, lose, yeah. you losing a competition. That is a normal thing. No matter. Now, are they, the, are, are they upset that they yeah. gave it to a white woman? Yes. That I cannot say. Okay. But I'm sure one or two of them will feel some type of way about it. That's so for they sure. feel like they'll be shocked. Like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, that, you mean of all the black people yeah. that are in this competition, the only white person won. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, there'll be that. But I don't agree. I, I, I can't really say for sure if it's real or not, not. But I know somebody will feel some type of way oh, about, yeah, it. about it. Yeah, yeah well, I understand for you. Sure. On September 16th, 2023, the Zimbabwe Miss Universe crowns Brooke Brooke Jackson as the winner of the Miss Universe beauty pageant in Zimbabwe. But that ah, ah. I mean, who represents Zimbabwe now? I That's see costume. Yeah, yeah. You know, you see. You see that? See, look at the costume. Yeah. She represents <laughs> Zimbabwe. She, she says, Shaka Zulu. Exactly. That's it. And they, and, and they complain. They'll complain, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, is there a black like woman that won? People see. will complain, bro. Like, shit, fuck it. All, the, all, I, I, all, all this unnecessary complaint about bro, I don't expect like people it's not just, to complain. You know, it's just beauty contest, beauty pageant, whatever. But everything, the thing is, everything is not political, boy. Mm -hmm. Everything is political. If if a kid does something and another kid didn't do it, it's political. Yeah. A white woman win in a black country is political. It started from here. Yeah. It's, uh, from, yeah. it's all about it's all yeah. from Af America, bro. So America is very here. political. Yeah. Everything about America is political. So the rest so, of the yeah. country. The, the, the rest of the world is speaking the same ideology now. We just well, supposed hey. to be that. No. Nah. We can't live life again. No, 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 no. It's it's it it won't work. Huh. It won't work. Brooks' victory itself is noteworthy. 
Her victory in this competition positions her as the country's representative on the global stage at the Miss Universe pageant. But as you can see, the newly elected beauty, Queen Brooke Brooke Jackson, mm -hmm. she is a white woman with blonde hair, and this does not She's sit well with a lot of people, like, and I wonder why. Because according to the rules and regulations of the competition... She's 21, but she look older, though. She look older? Don't you think so? Maybe because uh, of the makeup, she looks. I mean, she looks a lot mature than twenty one. Yeah, mature, yeah, maybe, maybe not maybe older. Mature, older. Yeah, mature. She look a lot more mature than mature. twenty, like twenty one for for me though. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, maybe pretty. that's just me. She pretty to me. She look like she's she, she's she, the one. She's fine. She's fine. Yeah, yeah. And she yeah. doesn't even look like she's from Africa, bro. Like she. I heard the one thing about that. Yeah, I want she that. look like she can she, be from Spain, she, 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 from Norway, Sweden, and Co. Because I don't know. Yeah. She 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 was born and raised in there. Yeah. Wow. Zimbabwe, yeah, I come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As according to the rules and regulations of the competition, you can compete in the pageant if you are a Zimbabwean. Academy Zimbabwe. I am Brooklyn oh, Jackson and I am a yes, 21 year yeah, old beauty therapist working wow. and living in Harare metropolitan province. My passions are all things beauty, fashion, and just getting to know people on an individual basis. So if she's from Zimbabwe, why are people mad? Why are people mad? Yeah, why are they mad, bro? Because <laughs> she's me. fucking white, bro. Like, <laughs> she, see. <sighs> can, can black people just give me a break? And we, we, we should give ourselves a break. <laughs> we can't, bro. We always want to be the winner. Why we got to be complaining on unnecessary things? Everything is, come on, man. Like everything, say everything is politicized, yeah. though. Everything gonna don't gotta be us like us, 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 us. I mean, let other people just you know this beauty party and enjoy. You know, next year maybe black or whatever. So the primary source of controversy stems from the fact that Brooke Brooke Jackson is white, while Zimbabwe is a nation with a predominantly black population. According to this TikToker, a white woman cannot be a beauty queen in Zimbabwe. Now, of course, people are shocked that the new winner of Miss Universe, Rhodesia. Uh, my bad, Zimbabwe. Some thought it was a TikTok prank. Others thought it was a Candace Owens commercial for skin bleaching cream. Some folks were like, I didn't know there was a Zimbabwe in Sweden because this is a Miss Norway, a Miss Dutch, Miss Germany, Miss France. Many are wondering how did Miss Jackson become Miss Zimbabwe? What in the last samurai avatar, the Great Wall is going on? Hollywood already has some scripts waiting for her. The first script is the Queen of Zimbabwe. Second script, Blindside 2, The Rescue. This dynamic raises several critical points for discussion, with some arguing that a country's representative in a global pageant should mirror the nation's demographics, which are primarily blacks in Zimbabwe's case. They contend that this choice is essential for promoting diversity and celebrating the nation's identity. And lots of people on social media platform are also outraged and dissatisfied by this. So let's start with the comments. One woman says, y'all do know everyone in Africa is in black, right? And not every country has a high racial tension as the U.S. This person says Africa has to do better for itself. Sad. Another person says embarrassing, but Zimbabwe's history is disgustingly rooted in colonization. At the fact that the most basic white woman won Miss Zimbabwe in a country where 98% of the population is black and less than 1% white is colonization at its finest, especially when the owner of the competition is a white woman. You just basically told the entire population of Zimbabwe that black women are not the beauty standard, and if you don't look like this, then you don't stand a chance. Total. I don't understand why everyone's moaning that Brooke won Miss Zimbabwe. She did. You sound so ignorant, it's bad. I, it's true that I don't know who put this girl in that position, but you sound ignorant. Like, do you even know the history of your country? Like, do you even know the girl's family history? There is no way, because you're sounding British, I'm guessing you live somewhere here. There's no way they're letting a black girl represent England in Miss Universe just because she's been here from generation to generation. There's no way. I don't know why some black people want to be white people pick me so bad, like so bad. You're representing Zimbabwe. That means you're going to be the face of Zimbabwe, which is an African country. Why is it a white person's face? Like, do you know how long ago was fucking colonization and all that? We do not need any white representative in anything in our lives anymore. Like, 
you sound so bad especially for a zimbabwean like i've been to school with you guys you're the smartest people on the freaking planet i'm sorry like i'm just shocked and flabbergasted that you confidently come here and say that anyways i'm waiting for the royal family or the british to put you in a position that they would never put a black person in i'm just waiting because that pick me is just too much like i don't know be honest bro like <sighs> I, I i personally i personally don't see anything wrong in it do you get what i'm saying uh, because if it's a black woman uh, that wins any other part of the world like uh, let's imagine a black woman when like that lady said oh i want to see uh brit uh, uk or the british give that lady a position they don't ever give uh oh, black people mm -hmm. one of those positions would be having megan marry ari yeah uh -huh. mm. good one one of that would be yeah. megan a black mm -hmm. woman mm -hmm. marrying yeah. ari. ari a black woman that also have history she was a married woman she was divorced before she married ari She's older than everything about that relationship. Just hmm. not, not, not a lot of black people can even accept that, that kind of person yeah. into their houses. Us, right. And we are talking of the royal family oh, yeah. opening mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. the ideology. I mean, things are changing. Things are changing. That's the number one. Different then number two, the prime minister of the UK right now is an Indian dude. Right. That's another thing. That's another then, thing. I'm going to need us to start being for real. I'm going to need us to start being so serious because this happened in a country where the the white population is less than one percent of the entire population let's actually start being so serious and she went against a black woman in in a black country to represent the country in to in contesting for miss universe she is going to go off into the competition and step forward as Miss Zimbabwe in 2023. And not only is she going to represent the country, she's got the full support of, of the black men in that country. Not only does she even have their support, they're, they're going as far as insulting the women that have concerns about this. Talking about some, they are jealous because she's all natural. We're sick. We're sick. And I don't understand how white people have you in this chokehold. I pray, I pray you are released from the shackles of whatever sickness this is. For you to be so confident, to, to talk so lowly of black women. What? Like, it is not the image that I wanted to see today. Mm -mm. knowing the the reason she was being crowned that and seeing another like a black woman put that crown on her head like on a regular tuesday on a regular on a regular day i would not care about a black woman putting a crown on a white woman's head y'all see do, do <sighs> in this situation jesus is lord have mercy no Okay, so this whole outrage is baseless to me, and it's really bad because the argument that a white woman born and raised in Africa is not African enough is really crazy. Because if you say she cannot be a winner representing her country solely on the basis of the color of her skin, then that is very racist and sad because you are simply saying that even though she was born and grew up in Africa, that does not necessarily make her an African. Then, what makes her African? Can this argument be made of black beauty queen winners in American and European beauty pageants? Because like Zimbabwe, which is predominantly dominated by blacks, Europe and America are also predominantly dominated by whites. I remember that in 2019, the world witnessed three beautiful African-American women win over all three major beauty pageants in America. And that historic first, for the first time ever, four black women have been crowned winners of the world's biggest beauty pageant that deserves a huge round of applause. Miss Universe from...
Naya Franklin won the Miss America pageant. Bridget Oye, Connecticut, which means Leah Franklin, New York. While Chesley Christ won the 2019 Miss USA. And now, Miss USA 2019 is... North Carolina! And Kalik Garris was crowned that year's Miss Teen USA. The winner of Miss Teen USA 2019 is... All these three women were celebrated and accepted, and their win was met with great applause, because their win is a big sign that representation matters all around the world, and their wins were all well-deserved. So if the wins were all well-deserved, why is Brooke Brooke Jackson's win any different? Everybody yeah. was celebrating that. Uh -huh. So what makes all of that any yeah. different from this, this lady? It doesn't. They, they, I mean... You just... Um, <sighs> Just, I just feel the problem is we keep complaining about racism. Yeah, yeah. We we black people or minority See. or whatever we want to call it. We keep complaining about racism, racism, racism. But now we're actually the one propelling that racism. And when they ask, can can black people be racist? Yeah, black people can be racist. And they'll when, say no. when, bro, like, they'll when say I, no. whenever I hear that thing, the only <laughs> yeah, thing that can bro, you imagine? Bro, yeah. bro, one thing that comes <laughs> to my mind. One thing that comes to my mind, and I'm not saying black people are broke or anything. This is just an analogy. It's like saying a poor person cannot be mean to a rich person just because they are poor. No. no. Poor people can be mean to rich people. It doesn't, it doesn't change who humans no. are. Ah, just yeah. because you are black okay. doesn't mean you can't be racist. Being racist is a human thing. It's a human thing, yeah. It's a human. Yeah. It doesn't have to do with just the race. It's a human thing. Uh, Hispanic can be racist to black people. Mm -hmm. Black people mm -hmm. can be racist, racist to Asian people. people. Asian people can be racist to white people. As long as you are human, Man. you can be a racist. Yeah, that's the thing. That's what's important. Human being. So, so, in a world where we all believe you are a citizen of the country you were born into, what makes her case any different? I mean, if you say she's not African enough because she's white, then can the same argument be made for the three African-American winners and every other non-white winner in American or European beauty pageants? My argument is that she deserves her win because she was the better candidate, and we should not discredit her win solely based on the color of her skin or because she's a minority on the continent she's representing. After all, we all call for diversity and equality in representation all around the world. So if these situations do not highlight the broader discussions about representation, diversity, and the significance of beauty pageants in promoting inclusivity that prompt diverse perspectives on who should represent a country and show that racial or ethnic identity should not be a determining factor in such decisions, then we have a big problem as a society. And if this win is not a big sign that true minority equality and diversity representation matter all around the world, then the concept of equality and diversity is nothing but a one-sided political shamble used to control and game minorities politically, and it should be abolished and done away with as a whole. Like this uh, video is saying, mm. if we cannot accept this lady's win mm -hmm. as being a win, then the concept of equality should just be eradicated. All this diversity mm -hmm. BS it's that we're bullshit. talking about is bullshit. Ain't no equality. No, no equality yeah, if no we one. can't, if we can't just celebrate that she won, she won, she won fair and so. yeah. I don't care if the organizer decided to pick her to win, but as far as this I competition is concerned, I mean, she won. There are so because many. You can't, to be honest, when you watch most of all these beauty pageants, sometimes the winner you are like, how can this person win? When this person is finer than like this, yeah, I've seen a lot of them. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, 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 this girl is kind of finer yeah. than the winner. How did she win? But hey, the judge knows what they're looking for, uh -huh. and they pick the winner. Yeah. So if she's won, as far as I'm concerned, she's the winner. Yeah, yeah, and let's yeah. celebrate her. Yeah, let's give her a crown. Let but, us use her one year. By next year, we'll pick somebody, somebody else. else. And, and if it's a black woman, then we celebrate, celebrate. that. And maybe yeah. an Indian woman. You celebrate you. Maybe it's on the 10th the one that a black woman. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs>
Don't uh, be riot. Uh, on the third uh, one, uh, the uh, black woman uh, will be. Uh, uh, there will be riot in Zimbabwe. I swear. <laughs> oh my the God. The world anyway. is going to shut down. Anyway, on that one. anyway, that's what I think, though. Yeah, I don't know. You what, know what, what do you think, it, brother? I mean, it's like, why is it like, you know, anytime black people um, want something, or you know, like everything, we don't hear no complaint. People don't complain. Like, so many competitions. Because like, we're a minority. You know, you know, those, the, the, the one you talk about, uh, the uh, 2019. Uh, yeah, it's you know, right there. But yeah, there, there is no. There is no complaint. So celebrate everybody that just, beautiful women. Yeah, everybody, you they understand? Yeah, you, there's no complaint from white, Hispanic, Indian, everybody. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Yo, congratulations. But this one now, complain. <laughs> Shakima crying. Shanini crying. Everybody <laughs> crying. <laughs> Deshaun crying. You, uh, Maka, you know, come on, man. Just, you know, uh, anyway. let's live life. Let's live life. Enjoy. I mean, there's I next year. You exactly. Know, that's it. There's next year. And maybe next year. And so another, another, another wife, another, another wife girl from Zimbabwe. Oh. <laughs> 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 we need again. Then, then I'll say, I reserve my comment. I'm not there. <laughs> but at, at this moment, this moment, oh let's celebrate her oh and let's move on. The, at this moment, she's the winner. She's let's the winner. That's give it. her a crown, she celebrate won. her, and That's let, it. let her go represent Zimbabwe yeah. for the Miss Universe World. World. That's, That's it. it. Support her, please. Yeah. Vote for her. Don't hate on her because she's yeah. white. There's us. I mean, let 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 us as black people just move with the flow, bro. Like, let's, flow. Let, let's stop. Let's, let's, let's stop seeing yeah, everything as uh, being yeah, racist. This is, let's the, unite. You know what? We are peace. becoming too political. Exactly. We are becoming too political. Yeah. Everywhere in the world is it's, becoming too political. Everything has to be political. Poli political. Yeah. But there's always an agenda behind everything. Somebody's come on. Can we just give ourselves anyway. away from all this? Um, that's what. That, that's what I have to let's say. Let's enjoy bro. life, man. That's, that's what I have to man. say. You know, it's what it is. You got anything more? No, bro. You know. All right. Gucci, man. The video is right. The video yeah. is on. Right. Gucci. Yeah. Peace! Anyway, that's it for today. Why don't we continue this conversation in the comments section? And on that note, we say thank you once again for joining us on Shot Bust. And until we see you again, peace.